Thank you for watching the 20th season of WGAL8 Brain Busters. We're here in Studio A, where all crew, players, and audience members are fully vaccinated as we follow strict COVID protocols. From Studio A, this is WGAL8 Brain Busters. Now, here's your host, Rich Rosen. Hello, everybody. I hope you saw the last Brain Busters with Cedarcliff and Hershey. Hershey was about to win, but Cedarcliff edged in right at the last minute, and they were triumphant. I wonder what will happen today with our two new teams, Redland and Carlisle. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's play our game. Here comes today's opening round. We have 10 point questions and one big brain buster brought to you by Turkey Hill. Pick up those signaling buttons and let's use them frequently, beginning now with this 10 point question. He founded a holy commonwealth in the new world and named it for his father. Who was this on an island? William Penn. William Penn was this Quaker for 10 points. Jack, Simon, Ralph, and Piggy are four of the boys who survive a nuclear Bennett. Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies is the novel that we were going for. It can precede Curie, Butterfly, Bovary, and Tussaud. Uh, Dervla. Madam. Madam is the French word that means my lady. The U.S. currently has 20 aircraft carriers. In 2003, the U.S. Navy commissioned the first aircraft carrier to be named for a living former U.S. president. Which president? George Anaya. W. Bush. No, not he, sorry. And, and Bennett. Gerald Ford? No, sorry, you're both incorrect, and that was Ronald Reagan. He died in 2004. Despite the fact that all of the others flow into it, this is the smallest of the Great Lakes. Which lake is it? Brian. Erie? No, sorry, incorrect. Bennett. You're, you're on. You're both incorrect. It's Ontario is the correct answer. It's called UBE, unsolicited bulk email. But this internet junk email has a more colorful name. Bennett. Spam. Spam is what it's called. In Judaism, it's the number of laws of Noah. In Islam, the number of heavens. In Catholicism, the number of sacraments. What number is it? Dervla. Seven. Seven is correct. In Shakespeare's play, he kills Hamlet's father and Hamlet kills him. Who is Morgan? Claudius. Claudius is Hamlet's uncle. It's a verb that requires an object such as to buy. What kind of verb is it? Morgan again? Infinitive. No, sorry, incorrect. Um, anybody from Redland? Flexive. No, sorry, it's a transitive verb is the correct answer. And now it's time for the big brain buster for 10 points and a gift certificate for Turkey Hill for everyone on the team. It's what happens when the sun is higher than 42 degrees above the horizon and the sunlight is refracted into a spectrum by water droplets. What is this, Bennett? Rainbow. A rainbow is this multicolored phenomenon. Congratulations, Carlisle. It sounds like a geometric figure, but it's actually the large muscle in your back that lifts your arms. Dervla. Trapezius. Trapezius is the correct answer. The Metropolitan Opera is located in this arts complex between 62nd and 66th Streets in New York City. What is this group of theaters called? Bennett. Broadway. No, sorry, incorrect. Redland. The correct answer is the Lincoln Center for the Performing Arts. The James River and the Potomac River empty into this bay. Bennett. Chesapeake. Chesapeake Bay. It's the amount of heat needed to change the temperature of one gram of water, one degree centigrade. Calorie. A calorie is the unit of measurement. Good for you. It's one of the official languages of Switzerland and the only official language of Liechtenstein. What language is it, Bennett? German. German is correct. Early Anglo-Saxon poetry wasn't based on rhyme, but on the repetition of consonant sounds in each line. What is that poetic device called? Q? Anaya. A haiku. Oh, no, sorry, incorrect. Bennett. Alliteration. Alliteration is correct. Complete the following analogy from British literature. Elizabeth Barrett is to Robert Browning as Mary Godwin is to what romantic poet? Dervla. Percy Shelley. Correct. Mary uh, Shelley was Mary Godwin when she wrote Frankenstein. You'll find the Statue of Liberty in New York City. In what city will you find a statue of armed liberty on top of a great domed building? Bennett. London. Nope. Sorry. Incorrect. Redland. Paris. Uh, no, you're going to find it in Washington, D.C. It's on the Capitol. Honeycrisp. Granny Smith. Golden Delicious. 
Anaya. Apples. They're all apples. In 2012, the Supreme Court unanimously ruled that it violates this amendment for police to install a GPS device on a suspect's car without a warrant. Which amendment? Dervla. Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment prohibits unreasonable searches and seizures. It was said that when he preached, all New York shook. What Calvinist Connecticut minister started the Great Awakening of Bennett? Whitefield? No, not he, sorry. Redland? Anaya? Uh, or, or, sorry, Orion. John? John Smith? No, you were close. It was Jonathan Edwards is the correct answer. Well, that's how it takes us to the end of the round and to our first break. Redland has a little work to do with a score of 30 to 120, but we have a lot more game left, including the one-on-one -on -one rapid fire and team lightning rounds. So please stay with us. WGAL8 Brain Busters will return after this. Participants on WGAL8 Brain Busters each receive a portable power bank for mobile devices. And the top four winning teams will share grants totaling $10,000. So good luck, teams. Now, here's Rich with our coaches and alternates. Well, if you're just joining us, you know that we're playing a game between Redland and Carlisle. Score of 30 to 120, but there's so much more game to play. But before the action resumes, let's take a moment to meet some other very important people that comprise our teams, our coaches and alternates. So first, uh, right next to me, we have a young lady. Her name is Olivia Maguero, and she is a freshman. And uh, she plays the oboe, and I know music has been very important to her, and the oboe is very important to her. Next to her at, from Redland is the coach, Mr. Jason Jones, and he's a biology teacher, loved by everyone. Now we move over to Carlisle, and we're going to see the alternate is Ray Bondi. You are a senior, and uh, for fun, he runs, but he also speaks Spanish. So I'm wondering if he does that simultaneously at the same time. And next to him is Mr. Matt Fonstock. He's the gifted support teacher at Carlisle, and we welcome all four of them. And now let's get back into the game. It's time now for today's one-on-one -on -one rapid fire where we talk to Let's see how they do individually against each other. So first, it's a pleasure to welcome Drew Scheib. Drew is a freshman at Redland, new to high school and new to this show, and it's great to welcome you here. And um, it's, we talked to you before. We have a biographical sketch, and you said that for a talent, you enjoy playing music, and you've been taking piano for many years? Yes. Now, do your parents have to convince you to practice? Uh, not usually. Do you Sometimes. write your own music? I have a little bit before. All right, excellent. Well, thanks for being here. And now we move to Carlisle, and we're going to say hello to Bennett Shine. I've known you for many years here as well. You are a junior, at least two years you've been on the show. And uh, we asked, what do you do really well in your talent? And you also highlighted a musical instrument. Uh, yes, I play, play the trumpet. been playing for um, about six years now. Um, give or take. <laughs> Are you in the uh, marching band or the school band? Um, well? I, w I was in marching band two, two years ago. Um, now I'm in the school's concert band. I've played in a jazz band before. Um, I, I take private lessons um, with my one wonderful teacher. Um, his name's Dr. Walbach. He's at um, he's at Dickinson College. Oh, excellent. Good for you. All right. Well, I hope you continue with the music. Bennett and Drew, we're going to put you two one on one. First proposed to the Continental Congress in July 1776, they were finally ratified by all 13 colonies in March 1781. Bennett. Articles of Confederation. The Articles of Confederation was the first constitution of the United States. Robert Ballard founded in the North Atlantic in 1985. Bennett again. Titanic. Titanic was the great ship that was found. Good anticipation. And finally, it's a literary work in which the main character is brought to ruin as the result of some personal flaw or moral weakness. Death of a salesman is one. So is Oedipus Rex, Macbeth, Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet. What kind of plays are they, Bennett? Tragedy. They they are all tragedies. You dominated all three of those questions, giving Carlisle a strong lead of 30 to 150. And now let's meet our two captains. First from Redland, it's a pleasure to welcome Ryan Smith. Ryan is a junior uh, from Redland, and it's great to welcome you here. And music is an important part of your uh, life, and you're part of the marching band, but it's a special marching band, a combination of the two schools? Yes, so the West Shore Marching Band combined a few years back um, it's a combination of both Redland and Cedar Cliffs programs, so we now combine into one band and perform 
So it's really cool to see people from both schools and how um, connected we are because there's really no difference. We don't see each other as Redland or Cedar Cliff or the West Shore Marching Band. So that's what's really cool about it. That's a good theory about life in general. Uh, and, and Ron, what uh, instrument do you play? Oh, I play the vibraphone in the front ensemble. Fantastic. Thanks for sharing. Dervla Dolan is a senior. You've done very well in that first round of play. And it's great to welcome you here. And you really love baking. I mean, is this something that you do for fun, or do you think it could be a business one day? I'd say it's mostly for fun. Um, I have... I mostly bake for my family, especially I've been assigned to make birthday cakes, including for myself. <laughs> Anything in particular besides cakes that you have a specialty for? Uh, probably cookies. <laughs> cookies. All right. Well, that's going to come in handy over the holidays. Dervla and Ryan, let's put you to one on one. In 2008, fossils of feathered dinosaurs found in China provided the strongest evidence yet that these modern creatures evolved from dinosaurs. Dervla. Birds. Birds are the animals that belong to the class Aves. On March March 18th, 2018, to absolutely no one's surprise, he was re-elected president of Russia. Who has been President Ryan? Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin has been president since 2012. And now it's time for the Millersville Epic Question of the Week. It's a six-letter word beginning with Z. What is a fertilized egg cell formed when a male sperm and a female egg fuse? Dervla. Zygote. A zygote is correct. Good for you. Uh, 40 to 160. It's now time to meet our third players, uh, our, our fifth and sixth players in today's uh, competition. First from Redland, it's a pleasure to welcome Anaya Sher. Did very well in that first uh, round of play. You are a junior. It's great to welcome you here. And it says here that you like to roller skate. I mean, do you roller skate like on the street? And No, so I work at a roller skating rink. So um, I do want roller skates that I can skate on the street, but I prefer skates and blades are better for street skating and I just don't like that kind of skating. Can you skate backwards and do some of the partner stuff as well? I can, yeah. Wow, very impressive. I used to love going roller skating, hear the music and just go round and round. Morgan Pantius is a senior from uh, Carlisle and it's great to welcome you here for the first time. And we always, you know, you've had many teachers over the years, but you talk about a chemistry teacher, an AP chemistry teacher, Mr. Campbell, is really impacting you in, in, what, in which way? So as an AP chem teacher, he's definitely taught me that it's okay to be wrong and make mistakes, especially in chemistry. And as long as you try harder and correct those mistakes, it doesn't matter. And I think what he's defining is resilience, and that's a great attitude. And Morgan and Anaya, be resilient and get ready to answer these three questions as we put you two one on one. Lyon, Nice, and Marseille are all cities in this country. Which country? Morgan? France. In France is correct. In the 17th century, Galileo determined that the traje trajectory of a projectile would follow the path of this curve. What is this conic section? A parabola. A parabola is correct. In ninth, and finally, in 1901, he sold his company to U.S. Steel. Anaya. Carnegie. Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie for $250 million. Good anticipation. 60 to 180. It's now time to pick up the pace and play today's six-second team lightning round. Ryan, your team is behind at this point, so you have the honor of selecting first among these three quizzes. We have six appeal. Potpourri. What a sight. Uh, six appeal. We hope you find the number six appealing because every answer includes or is about the number six. So for 10 points each, appeal to your sixth sense and identify the following. Now, Ryan, I take your answer as the team's answer. Drew and I in their place will help you along as much best as they can. Um, we have 60 seconds on the clock, which will begin after I finish reading the first question. Good luck to all three of you, and here we go. The first perfect number equal to the sum of its divisors, one, two, and three. Six. Six. Six is correct. Six in Roman numerals. VI. Correct. The NBA team from the Philadelphia from Philadelphia. 76ers. Correct. In the New Testament book of Revelations, it's the number of the beast. 666. Six, six. Correct. French for six. Pass. Cease. Samuel Colt's revolver, the weapon of choice in a gunfight. Six shot. Uh, six shooter. Arlington, Texas is the home of the huge amusement park, largest amusement park six company flags. in the world. Six flags. You are correct. According to Tennyson, the number in the light brigade. Pass. Six hundred. Spanish for six. Six. Correct. It's the sixth month of the year. 
June. Correct. In 1967, Israel defeated Syria and Jordan in less than a week. Six days war. Six days war is correct. Britain's secret intelligence service. Pass. MI6, the formula for benzene. Pass. C6, H6, the year of the great fire of London. 1666. You are correct. Right on the buzzer. Good for you. 10 correct. 100 points came your way. 150 to 180. Now it's up to you, Dervla. Would you be interested in potpourri or what a sight? What a sight. What a sight. Fisherman's Wharf in Chinatown or in San Francisco. For 10 points each, let's see if you know your way to these tourist attractions. Derville, as you know, I take your answers. The team's answer, Ben and Morgan, are ready to help you along. 60 seconds on the clock, which will begin after I finish reading the first question. Good luck, and here we go. In this Greek city, you can visit the Parthenon oh, on Athens. the Acropolis. Athens is correct. The Petrified Forest and Grand Canyon are in this state. Arizona. Arizona. Correct. Go to this country to see the Taj Mahal. India. India. Correct. It's an ancient megalithic structure structure on the Salisbury Plain in England. Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Stonehenge, yes. Diamond Head is the landmark near this Hawaiian city. Honolulu. Honolulu. Honolulu is correct. In 1889, it was the tallest structure in Paris. Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Tower. Correct. Much of this colonial village in Virginia has been restored. Williamsburg. Williamsburg. Williamsburg is correct. It stretches 1,500 miles from Ganshu Province to the Yellow Sea. The Great Wall sea. of China. The Great Wall of China. It's the largest mass of exposed granite in North America near Atlanta. Pass. Stone Mountain. 1,000 giant statues are scattered across the Pacific Island. Easter Island. Easter Island. Easter Island's correct. John Hancock Tower and Willis Tower are Boston. in this windy city. Chicago. Chicago. Chicago, yes. This mountain is the most popular tourist attraction in Japan. Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji's correct. Carpenters Hall, Congress Hall, and Independence Hall are in this Philadelphia. city. Philadelphia. Philadelphia is correct. Angel Falls is in this South American country. Venezuela. Venezuela. Right on the buzzer, Venezuela. We're going to give it to you. Very well done. 13 correct. Great teamwork. 130 points came their way. 150 to 310, a strong lead right now for Carlisle, but things can change because it's now time to reveal today's bonus Brain Buster category. During our breaks, a break, our teams will wager zero, five, or 10 points based on their knowledge of world leaders. So we'll have the bonus Brain Buster and of course the all important final frenzy right after this short break. Watch all this season's episodes of WGAL8 Brain Busters anytime on WGAL.com. Our online home also includes our tournament schedule and a chance to learn more about the show and host Rich Rosen. Go to WGAL.com and click on Brain Busters. Welcome back, and as you see, Redland has their work cut out for them, but they can do it now with today's bonus Brain Buster. During our break, each player wagered zero, five, or ten points based on their knowledge of world leaders. We're going to head into the News 8 newsroom with Jerry Gish because he has today's question. Jerry. Thanks, Rich. Now here's your bonus Brain Buster question. In 1973, Anwar Sadat launched a war against Israel. In 1977, he flew to Jerusalem to negotiate peace. From what country was Anwar Sadat? Again, in 1973, Anwar Sadat launched a war against Israel. In 1977, he flew to Jerusalem to negotiate peace. From what country was Anwar Sadat? Good luck with your answer. Now back to Studio A. Rich. Thanks, Jerry. Good luck, players. We'll give you about five seconds. Okay, time's up. We're going to wait for everybody to close their pens. Okay, Drew, we always start with that side of the set, so you're responsible for showing us first. From what country? He was from Egypt, and you wager 10 points. Good for you. We're adding 10 points to your score. Ryan, it's now up to you. What do you think? Jordan, no, I'm sorry, but only a five-point wager, so we're going to deduct five from the 10 that Drew and Anaya. Did you come up with Assyria? But zero wager, so we're adding five points to Redland's score. Okay, Bennett, did you come up with Egypt? Egypt it is with a 10-point wager. Good for you. Dervila, what about you? Lebanon, five point. No, sorry. We're going to deduct five points from you. Five points on Palestine. No, so we're going to deduct five points. So zero added to the score for Carlisle. 
155 to 310. All the marbles are coming up now with today's final frenzy. This time we have 20 point questions. Most of us think they're plants. They're actually photosynthesizing sedentary meat eating animals, which catch, catch tiny animals with their stinging tentacles. Anaya. Venus flytraps. No, sorry, that's incorrect. Um, what are these animals whose skeletons form colorful reefs? Coral. They're called corals. Yes, this Asian river carries so much silt that its delta grows by more than 100 feet every year. What river flows between Laos and Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam? Uh, that's uh, Bennett. Mekong. The Mekong is correct. V vitamin D is one. So what are cortisone, cholesterol, and all the male and female sex hormones? What are these, Anaya? Hormones. Uh, no, sorry. What are these organic compounds with a characteristic structure? Proteins. No, they're all steroids. All of the following events occurred in the same decade in the 19th century. Greece won its War of Independence. King George III died and the Monroe Doctrine was 1820s. Broken. 1820s. Drew, you are correct. The 1936 Summer Olympic Games were the first to include the Olympic torch relay. In what city were they held? Bennett. Berlin. Berlin's correct. They include algae and diatoms, small crustaceans, and the larvae of larger marine animals. What are these microscopes? Dervla. Plankton. They're called Plankton, yes. He is the only U.S. president born in New Jersey, the only president with the first name Stephen, and the only president to both defeat and be defeated by Benjamin Harrison. Grover Drew. Cleveland. He's the one. Its most populous city, Vlan Batar, meaning red hero. Uh, Bennett. Mongolia. Mongolia is the country, yes. This spongy lymphoid organ is located on your left side between the stomach and the diaphragm. In children, it produces lymphocytes. In adults, it removes worn out red blood cells. Liver. Not the liver, no, I'm sorry. What organ is it, Dervla? Spleen. The spleen is correct. It's a spice made from nutmeg, a medieval war club, a ceremonial staff, and liquid tear gas. What is this four letter word, Morgan? Mer. No, sorry, stumped you. Uh, any idea, Redland? The correct answer is mace. He built more monuments, took more wives, and fathered more children than any other pharaoh in history. Who ruled for 67 years in the 13th century BC? Bennett. Ramesses the Great. He's the one. T.S. Eliot's murder in the cathedral is set in this famous cathedral town where Chaucer's pilgrims were beheaded. Ryan. Notre Dame. Not Notre Dame. Where is this shrine, um, Carlisle? Uh, we stumped you on Canterbury. Some think that this play is Shakespeare's farewell to the stage, especially in the epilogue spoken by Prospero. And that, that sound takes us to the end of the round and to the end of the game. It looks like we are going to see Carlisle for the second round. We may see uh, Redland again if they qualify to be in the wild card spot. Uh, but we'll have some final words for you in just a moment or two. Scorekeeping for WGAL8 Brain Busters, presented by Jennings College Consulting, where students discover the right college fit for the future. We'll return after this. Welcome back to WGAL8 Brain Busters, the Susquehanna Valley's longest running high school quiz show. Once again, here's your host, Rich Rosen. Well, after a very strong performance, Carlisle is returning for round two, but who knows? We may see Redland again as one of the wild card spots. So coming up on the next WGLA Brain Busters, we have Elizabethtown versus Cedar Crest. Historically, these two teams have been very strong and we're expecting a very exciting half hour. We hope to have the pleasure of your company as well. From all of us here at Studio A, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. So long.